We're back in our little waterfall home here with our friendly neighborhood primate tribe. So far, I mean, we've managed to recover fairly well. We have a decent number of adults. We have like uh, five of them in the tribe right now. We have four babies. Now, we did bring in a new a new ape recently, a new primate. What do you want to call them? I think it was a female, so I need to try to find that one because we need to have a little, few, couple more babies here and then I'd like to leap forward ahead of generation so we can lock in the points of what we have. Now, those two are coupled. Uh, what about you? I don't female not coupled, and she's fertile. Okay, so... I need to drop off the baby load I'm carrying here. Because I've got too many already. Uh, we'll add two more in. That'll give us six adults. And then when we jump ahead a generation, or whether well, six babies rather, then we jump ahead a generation, then we'll have six adults. And that should go well. We've uh, we've spent most of our points and stuff. This poor ape is really tired. You might be sleepy, buddy, but you've got, you got a job to do before we can let you rest. So he's gonna need to groom the, the new female that's over here. Oh, apparently I need food and water. That could be why I'm so tired. This won't take long. Just a quick drink. Oh, they're all drinking too. I love how when they're thirsty and they're sitting next to water, they don't go get a drink. They just sort of hang out. It's interesting too that you can't really tell what you're lacking in terms of traits. So like, actually, you can see like I've got like the red hunger thing down there now, but. You don't really know that you're hungry until you're too hungry. You know, you just kind of have to keep shoveling food in your face. And hope you're meeting your requirements. I just ate all my plants over here. Alright, he's got a little bit more energy. Food's in a little bit better place. Uh, I think this was the female here. Head out female, single fertile, and she's got protection from broken bones. Alright, good enough. Quick bit of grooming, we'll get her to be my new bonded pair. Uh, and then we can uh, make some more offspring. Right after we have the offspring, I'm going to jump ahead a generation. Uh, we'll need to then make more offspring again in order to get our tribe repopulated. But what I really want to tackle today is uh, there was a cave that I found on my way here. When I was trying to find a new home for our, our apes to live, I found this cave that had all these big spider webs and stuff in it. I kind of want to go in and check it out and see what the deal is in there. I'm curious to see whether they're like regular sized spiders or giant spiders or what they're going to do. And uh, whether there's anything interesting to find in there, but uh, you know, we'll find it soon enough, I guess. Alright, we have two more babies in our. Fancy little tribe now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll jump ahead a generation. Okay, so I think uh, oh we got like some new genetic traits there. Hopefully some of these uh, new genetic traits that we have will be locked in. We have six reinforcements now, so I have uh, six items we can lock in. So that's good. We'll carry forward all of our traits into the next generation. I don't have to worry about losing any and respending points. We did a bit of that early on, and I think um, you know if I had to replay the game again, I'd do a better job of paying attention to what I'm what I'm learning and locking in. Uh, let's jump forward a generation. We'll get uh, we'll get some more some more kids on the way afterward, and then we'll work on doing some exploring. All right, we're on year one ten. Um, I've already uh, gone ahead and done all the mating and stuff, so we have six babies now available. Actually, two, four. Yeah, there's six babies now. One of which I'm gonna have on my back. I've been riding running around with two of them, but I think it's actually draining my stamina a bit. I'm gonna carry all that weight around while we're doing stuff, so I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just keep one baby for now. That'll still let me collect the neuronal energy. Uh, may not happen quite as quickly, but hopefully it'll help with stamina and stuff. We have a bit of a journey to go to get to that cave that I had found before. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to try and figure out where it's marked on the map. Uh, somewhere here I have a spear laying on the ground too. I need to pick up. <laughs> Gotta bring a weapon with us. I'm not going unarmed. Look at this mess. The big cats have been hunting me like crazy the last couple of times I played. Uh, so I'll probably start off with two spears, I think. I'll already be uh, I'm already be good for food and water, I think. So we'll start with two spears, and that will give me uh, that'll give me a backup weapon in case I use one. I'll have another one ready. Lately, I haven't been doing super well with killing things off in one hit. I have had some luck in the past with it, but lately not so much. So I figure it's a good idea to be well armed at least. All right, we got that way. We have, a, we have all our weapons and stuff ready. I just need to probably sleep a little bit before we go. I, I'm probably not a good idea to, to head out 
on an expedition when I'm tired. Uh, it is nighttime anyway. Uh, this will also give me a chance to check and see whether we have any neuronal energy we can spend. Probably not a lot. No, uh, we got a little bit there. A couple of random ge uh, genetic mutations here that will be nice. Baby genetic mature. Duo and the member of the lineage will have better hand-eye coordination when under attack. Spontaneous genetic mutation will become effective after the lineage's next evolution. So that's not going to happen until we actually evolve. Moving forward, generations doesn't actually affect all these things. Uh, what's this one here? Fewer items with curative properties to reduce the duration of food poisoning. Oh, that's interesting. Less effects from the eggs. Uh, this one's for about poisoning. I guess I don't really have anything on too much unlocked that I can spend it on. Temporal distortion. Once connected, the tolerance to undergo successive attacks will be increased. Okay, so I want that. I keep rebuying those when I feel like. All right, that's connected. Uh, we have this one. Oop. What's this one now? Perceptual time dilation. Once connected, reaction time for the ability to respond to a threat will increase. I feel like I already had that unlocked. But maybe not. Alright, just enough for that one for building. I feel like I should do some more building and try to get some more of that stuff unlocked. Because I can't tell what, what other building options we might have. These are around settlements and stuff. All right, let's uh, let's sleep for the night, and then we'll uh, we'll head out on our expedition in the morning. Well, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. It's a bit of a gray day, but at least it's not pouring rain. I don't know if it's gonna rain later. I don't know if the game shows like advanced weather that way. But uh, we want to head off to the place we were before, and I think it's I think it's this one here. I'm not positive, unfortunately. Thousand Floors Waterfall. No, this is where we had set up previously. For our other camp. The other one's going to be off to the right, but we're going to have to pass by it anyway. We might even uh, maybe just try and make a direct beeline this item here so we can get a new discovery underway. And then beyond that, somewhere on that cliff face back there is the way to the, the spider cave that we found before, and that's really what I want to check out. I'm really super curious to see if there's anything in there. We might even find another cave along the way, I guess. Can't be the only cave on the map. Well, I decided to climb a rock face so I could get a better view of things. This one is really high. Uh, I kind of burned through all my green stamina. That's where my, my home camp is, underneath the waterfall over there. Doesn't seem so far when I'm up here. But now I'm burning into the yellow energy, which isn't good. Uh, I'm going to need like food or something to replenish that. I hope something's growing up here. Otherwise, uh, it could be a little awkward. Okay, well, we got it back. That's not bad. I'm glad to see that when I get to the yellow part, it doesn't just make me fall off the, the cliff face, and that might have hurt a little bit. It's kind of a long way up here. I'm hoping from up here we'll get a good view of things. Now, I won't be able to probably use any of my senses to detect anything, because it's pretty high up. I'm going to go up to the highest point and see if there's anything up here. Wow, now that's a good view. So we can see the whole lake... This is all just like a giant depression. Oh, what is over there? Looks like there might be a whole different area over there. So, um, that's where I made my camp before. And somewhere over here, there's a point of interest that I had found, but it must be out of range still. What a weird sound effect going on. What is that? Oh, there's another emerald up here. It's interesting that the emeralds are sitting like up high like this. I don't know what to do with these things, but it made a point of making a sound effect, which makes me think that it should be something worth keeping. Um, I'm going to throw this. <laughs> it's going to be a little weird, but I'm going to throw this in the direction of my home base. Hopefully, we'll find it sitting on the ground at some point. Oh, that's a good throw. We'll see what happens. But I, I can't leave it up here, and I want to take my spear with me anyway, so we'll grab this. Hope I can find that later. Um, so. I think over there is the waterfall where I set up camp and then we had the problem with the well, the big cats. But somewhere over that way, I think, should be where that cave is. I just need to find it. And there's the point of interest down there that we want to get to. Just kind of straight along that way. Uh, I jump all the way down, but it could be troublesome. <laughs> I don't want to fall. 
This is a long way up. If I miss a tree when I jump, it could lead to death. I think I'm going to try it anyway, just because, you know, adventures. Please don't go splat. Please don't go splat. Banzai! Oh, gosh. Give me a branch to grab. Oh, yeah, we got something. We're good. This is actually a pretty, pretty efficient way to travel. Get some good travel time on that. That was great. Thank goodness it didn't end with a big splat. So I got to that point of interest I was looking for, and it looks like there's actually a cave right here. So I may not even need to go find the original one. This might even be the, the opposite end of the one I was looking for. That would be interesting. Uh, well, let's discover this area. And I hear a big cat here, too. Cave's Mouth Oasis. There's a python. All right, that's another point of interest discovered. Uh, down below us, we have a big cat of some kind. I don't know whether it's a simple two tiger or panther or what. Oh, there it is. It's like a tiger thing. Well, this thing's not likely to let me down easy. Can I intimidate while I'm on the side of a tree? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be terribly intimidated by that either. All right, that didn't work. Um, we might be able to go up and like cross over to a different tree and then down to see whether we can make the jump across the branches there. I think we'll be all right. This one looks like it goes up pretty high. Oh, there's a bird's nest up here too. Make it to fight another giant eagle. We haven't done that since early on. What's in the What's in the nest here? Oh, well, we got some eggs here. I, I didn't take the trait that actually lets me digest eggs, unfortunately. I'm going to leave that. I mean, we could fight the eagle, but I'm not really worried about that right now. I kind of want to explore. We're really here to check out that cave. Uh, let's make the leap over to here. Ooh, that was a good one. Good jump. All right. So that'll get us away, away from that crazy tiger thing. What do we have over here? Uh, am I stuck? There we go. Stand up and walk around a little bit. I gotta remember to try to walk more often to help with our mobility and stuff. Uh, I don't see too much of interest here that's new. But it's this cave that I'm really interested in. I'm gonna find a place we can jump down and reach this tree. Got it. All right. We're past the tiger. We're at the mouth of the cave. I don't know what we're gonna find in here, but hopefully that thing's not still tracking me. That would be a real nuisance. My experience with them has been that they tend to follow you once they find you, but. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. This cave does look cool, though. And dark. Lots of points of interest still to add on to the map, but... I don't see or smell anything in here. Oh, what is that? Something new. Let's memorize that. I'm guessing a spider of some sort. What is that? What is that? Looks like a giant centipede or something. That's exactly what it is. It's a giant centipede. Uh, to fight it or not to fight it? <laughs> I'm guessing it's poisonous, if I had to guess. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to oh, smell it. Let's discover it. New wildlife discovered. Megarian Banded Centipede. Scolopendra Cingulata. Well, that's ugly. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. 
Is there actually, I've got some new squares here. Is there anything new that I can discover in here that I haven't seen before? Granite rock. More granite rock. Imagine that. There's rocks in a cave. Who knew? All right. I'm going to try my luck against the centipede. I mean, hopefully... Hopefully we can react quick enough that it's not going to eat me alive if it's aggressive. I mean, everything in this game is aggressive. Who am I kidding? Oh, we got it. Striking sharpened stick can be used to strike a Megarian banded centipede. Nice. And we killed it, too. Take that, centipede. Yeah, you go, buddy. All right, matured neuron attack. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to get a preemptive attack. That would be amazing. It's really tough having to always be responding to things instead of being the first one to strike, even when you can see something before it knows you're there. New gathering spot discovered. McGrain Bandit Centipede Cargo. So I think I have a trait that actually lets me eat bug meat or bug protein or whatever. Uh, I need a rock. Actually, what are these? These ones are granite. Um, I think it's the grinder that's made out of the granite, so that's not going to come in handy. We'll just... We'll butcher it using a regular rock. It's a weird way to go about it, but let's make some squishy bug meat. Okay. I wonder if we get carapace or anything from this. Ooh, what is that? So there's chunks of meat, but what is this thing over here? Uh, oh, I need to drop the rock before I can try to pick stuff up. Okay. So that's the meat. There's this other part here that looks... I don't know, maybe that's just a... Something for animation sake or whatever. Inspect. I can never tell if they're excited about that or not. Uh, let's try it. Have a, we'll snack out a little piece of it and see what happens. Doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Alright, well he had a little bit to eat. Let's leave that. I don't want to overeat on the bug. I figure that's probably not good. Now, sometimes it's hard to pick up things like the bones from the other animals, so I wonder if I just have to get the right position to get that squiggly thing. I mean, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I, I guess I can't. It must just be, like, something to show parts of the animal or something. Actually, I have a trait that lets me pick up things that are really big, and I haven't used it yet. I wonder if I could pick up the whole body. Nope. I guess not. I was hoping I could pick up the piece of the carcass and take it with me, but I guess not. We'll take the spear. Uh, you know what? I should probably grab a rock, too. Oh, water. Uh, is this going to be swampy water or what? I don't see. Oh. Nope, fresh water, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's deep enough I have to swim. <laughs> I'm a little worried I'm going to find something in here that I don't want to find. <laughs> it looks like it's all cave in here. Oh, I'm losing stamina because I'm swimming. I think if that yellow goes all the way down, it probably drowns, so you should probably be a little careful of that. Oop, don't pass out. Take a break. No, I can't. It's on an angle. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I have a problem if there's no way out of here. Unless my stamina recovers. We take a break. Hopefully it will bounce back. There we go. Well, we got most of it back. The new swimming took so much stamina. Wait on through and find out what's in here. I really hope there's something cool at the end of this for all the effort it's going to take to go through here. Oh, what is the... Oh, we can climb upwards. And I hear another gem sound. Maybe there's another emerald in here. Oh, I'm seeing through my gorilla. This is so cool. I don't know which way to go. I mean, what is that over there? Is that another centipede? Yeah, it's another centipede over there. If I use up my last stick, I won't have a weapon. It sounds like the gem is off this way. 
More water this way, too. Imagine that. So now I have a, I have a bit of a conundrum. The, uh... I can hear the gem somewhere. This is a second, like, an upper cave, but there's still a lower cave that I haven't fully explored, and I can't get through there. I was hoping I could. There we go. Try to stay out of the water as long as possible. Nope. We're swimming. Can I swim downward? No. We can't swim downward, and I also can't get through over here by the looks of it. Is there anything in the water I can take? Nope. Alright, I gotta get out of here before I drown. Alright, we can jump across here. I'm gonna... Whoops! Oh, there we go. A uh, little bit of a slip. I'm gonna try my luck against the centipede over here, see if we can take it out with the stick. If we don't kill it, I might have a problem, though. Oh, you rolled over it! Kung Fu moves! Oh, take that! We got the Bruce Lee of primates over here. That's awesome. I should probably get some meat off it. Uh, well, I broke my stick, so I don't have a weapon anymore, but... We got meat. Oh, that one made me sick. Well, that's good. Alright, well, now we're stuck in a cave somewhere, and we're sick. Uh, there is water here, though. Ooh, there's, are there trees out here? Okay, let's, uh, if I get rid of this stone, I can drink some water. We'll get rid of the stomach illness. It doesn't pay to eat some crazy centipede you've killed in the cave, apparently. Alright, this looks like maybe just another entrance, but hopefully it's another area we can explore that will be like a, like a point of interest kind of thing. It doesn't really look like it, but... It'd be nice to add something else to the map. Uh, if nothing else, I, I should probably recharge a little bit. We'll get some food that's maybe not a bug. And then we can go back into the cave. I want to go back down to that lower level. Nice. Matricity improved. Oh. Oh, this is still in the cave. Okay, I thought this was actually an exit, but, well, I mean, it might be upwards. That's really cool. If the water's deep enough, we can maybe jump back down in here after. I don't think there's uh, anything we can do with stuff down here. What was that? No, just the water. Uh, that is a pretty big opening. I'm not sure if I can climb all the way up there. We're gonna give it a whirl. I, I need to find some some food that's not uh, that's not bugs. Okay. Uh, there's a lip here I can't get over. Let me up. Alright, we're free. I have no idea where I am, but we're free. That was really cool. I'm gonna go back down in the cave, but I'm gonna have maybe a little rest out here. Um, I should probably try and find... Well, yeah, here we go. We can we can make another spear. be a really good idea to go back in there with weapons. And then we can, uh, we can explore a little bit farther. That way if we run into a centipede, I'm not gonna be doomed. Figures there would have to be a tiger coming along. Oh! It, oh, it got me, but I think I hit it with the rock also. Yeah, I lost my rock. Okay, um, I need to, I need to get a weapon ready quick. Oh, there's boars too. That's, of course there is. No, don't throw. The, yeah, throw the branch. That's what. I, that's totally what I wanted you to do, buddy. All right, we have a weapon again. I guess um, I might as well head back down into that cave. Although. It is changing to nightfall. It'd be kind of nice to sleep in a bed, but I don't think I can set up a settlement here in order to sleep. Uh, make another branch, or grab another branch I can bring with me. I don't need to carve it. I can just carry it. We can make it into an actual spear when we're in the cave. Alright. I kind of want to jump in the water, so I'm thinking if we can hit this right. Banzai! Made it! That was a good jump. Alright, we made it back into the cave. This is the well I came up before. I'm gonna sleep here, I think. If I can... 
I can manage to sleep anyway. I gotta find a spot I can lay down. Oh, I guess I gotta drop my weapons for me to lay down. So we'll drop these. And we'll have a little nap up here. Hopefully that will help us recover. We'll get back at it when it's daytime. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Oh, there is something. Oh, and it's something I haven't seen before. Nice. Okay, that's gotta be the, the gem, which means it's not an emerald because we found an emerald before. But it's making that sound effect like there's a gem here. I really don't know what the deal is with these things. They seem to be special in some way because they made a point of making them make a special sound effect, but... What is this thing? <laughs> New tool discovered! Precious stone, blue agate. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take it with me, which means I'll get one spear. Found a blue agate as a precious stone. I mean, <sighs> spiritual inception. Spiritual, what, do we start worshipping it or something? Like, what's the deal? All hail the shiny blue thing. All right, I don't know what the um, I don't know what the deal is with the gems. It says it's a tool. I mean, I guess I guess technically it's a tool if I can hit something with it. I don't know whether it's like anything useful or not, but I think this is a pretty uh, pretty successful expedition. We managed to search out the whole cave. We found this fancy new blue rock. Uh, we earned some more uh, some more neuronal points. I'm going to head back to our camp and sleep because I think we've earned a good reward. Uh, when we come back next time, I think I'm going to work on uh, trying to find some more... Uh, some more um, points of interest that I haven't seen before. So hopefully if we're searching for points of interest, maybe we'll find like a new biome or something that would be kind of cool. Uh, I've seen hippopotamus at a distance. I'd maybe like to get close enough to identify one of those. And something that kind of looked like a sea otter or something. I don't know. Some sort of like ancient otter or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what it was, but uh, it'd be nice to get maybe close enough to identify one of those because, you know, we gotta build up our lexicon as much as we can. Uh, but thanks everyone for checking out the video. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button, come back and check out another one. I'm as always Cryptic Vox. I'll see all of you next time.